Hi guys, I welcome you all to the another video of software testing by MKT. In this video, we are going to talk about what do you mean by exploratory testing in software testing. Before we proceed with this video, make sure that you hit the subscribe button down below. Let's get started with exploratory testing. So in exploratory testing, we have to explore the application to understand to understand the requirements completely and then we have to start testing our application requirements will be missing we need to explore the application ourselves in order to understand the requirements and then we need to test it that is called as exploratory testing the actual definition of exploratory testing says that understand the application identify all possible scenarios document that identified scenarios and then finally test the application by those looking into those scenarios that is called as exploratory testing so in easy one i'm going to make you guys understand what do you mean by exploratory testing guys in exploratory testing your application will be ready but there is no requirement so what test engineers will do test engineer will take the application and they themselves explore the application they themselves try to understand what is the requirement how we i mean they will see the application and they will try to understand what was the requirement so they will take the application they will explore the application and they will identify all possible scenarios and finally they are going to write those particular scenarios and finally they are going to test the application by looking those scenarios that is called as exploratory testing test engineer will do exploratory testing when there is no requirement at all or when requirement will be missing that time test engineers will do exploratory testing now the question arises why requirement will be missing guys in each and every company you don't see a fast process means you cannot expect release to be done in just one month in each and every company you cannot expect people to deliver the software in a very small period of time so there are many companies who are still in the development process for that particular software from the last 5 years from the last 15 years there are even companies who are developing who are into the same project from the last 20 years there are companies if you want i will write down the list of those companies in the link description please check it out so the question was why requirement will be missing suppose company is into some project which is 20 years old you have hired a test engineer now for the new hired test engineer it is very much difficult to understand each and every scenarios or requirement from scratch from starting it is very difficult for him in that case what test engineer will do software will be ready right from 20 years what what are the things we have done right he will take the application and he will start exploring the application he will start guys explore exploring is nothing but he will start using the application and once you use any application you will get to know how the application is working right when you download any application for the first time you won't be knowing how to work it but over a period of time when you keep using that application even people understand how the application works right in a similar way when a project is 15 years old or 20 years old or let's say one year old also it is highly impossible for the newly test engineer in test engineer to understand the requirement from scratch in that case test engineer will just take the application and he will explore the application he will use the application nothing but he will do exploratory testing why requirement will be missing because if project is very old it is highly impossible for the test engineer to grab or to understand each and every scenarios from scratch or if the project is highly old chances are there that requirement will be missing in that case we go for doing exploratory testing now the biggest question is how to do exploratory testing guys you use the application and you try to understand the application 
you use the application you're trying to understand the application that is called as exploratory testing as you guys know that in any application the main testing that we do is called as component testing integration testing and system testing so if you want to understand any application application is in front of you but you don't have the requirement so what you will do you will try to do component testing first suppose it is having a registration page it is having many components in it you will try to understand each and every component when you try to understand each and every component you are doing component testing you are trying to test each and every component but you are actually doing exploratory testing you are exploring it suppose you are now you have many modules in it you are trying to do some integration scenarios while doing integration scenarios you are doing integration scenarios but indirectly you are just doing exploratory exploratory testing you are trying to understand the application when you are doing you are testing the application you will even perform system testing while doing system testing you will you are doing system testing but indirectly you are trying to understand the application that is nothing but exploratory testing you are trying to understand the application you are trying to perform all component testing integration testing and system testing but since you don't know the requirement you are doing nothing but exploratory testing this is how you do exploratory testing now we will discuss what are the drawbacks when you are doing exploratory testing so the first drawback of doing exploratory testing is guys you when you don't have any requirement with you you are testing the application you are exploring it you you don't have any requirement you are just trying to explore the application and trying to understand the requirement in that case you might might misunderstand the feature as a bug so the first drawback of exploratory testing is you might misunderstand any feature as a bug since you don't have the requirement you don't know what an app feature it should have but when you see the application you are trying to understand the application there is a feature in the application but you think that it is not at all required that time you feel that it is a bug so the first drawback of exploratory testing is you might misunderstand feature as a bug example suppose there is a login page which is used in some corporate industry where they are asking you to put your username your password and they are also asking you to put your employee id and then login button this is how the requirement says but when you are doing exploratory testing you feel that only username password and login button was sufficient there is no use of putting employee id option so since you don't have the requirements now you are doing exploratory testing you will feel that this employee id component is a bug which is actually a feature but since you don't have the requirement and you are doing exploratory testing you feel that it is a bug so this is a first drawback of doing exploratory testing second drawback of doing exploratory testing is you might misunderstand bug as a feature that means suppose there is a login page where you have entered your username you have entered your password you have entered your mobile number and email id and then login button requirement says that when user is entering his email id also and mobile number also we are going to send a code same code in mobile also mobile number also and email id also but when you are doing exploratory testing and you are in the login page when you are giving all the details your first name last name your mobile number and email id the user code is going the otp is going only in your mobile number not in your mail id but this was a requirement requirement was that our otp will go in both mobile number also in gmail also the same otp will go in both both the places but when you started testing it the otp is going only in mobile not in gmail but since the requirement is missing you will misunderstand that this bug is actually a feature you will never come to know that this is a bug the third drawback of doing exploratory testing is it is a more time consuming job since you don't have the requirements at all you will not be knowing which which module or which component work how you are actually doing exploring the application and you are testing it that time time consuming will be more 
This is the third drawback of doing exploratory testing. The fourth drawback of doing exploratory testing is, suppose your application is developed and you are exploring the application. If any feature is missing in the application, you will never come to know since application is ready and there is no requirement when you are exploring and testing the application and some some module or some feature is missing in the application you will never come to know that is the fourth biggest disadvantage of doing exploratory testing now the question arises how to overcome the drawbacks of doing exploratory testing how to overcome it so whenever you are joining any company and people are telling you to start doing testing without giving you the KT without giving you to make you guys understand what was the requirement my suggestion is don't start it don't try to explore the application and start testing it always try to get the knowledge always try to understand the application always try to understand the requirements from the person who is having good product knowledge you can ask your doubt from product manager you can ask your doubts from the senior person who is in the testing department you can ask your doubt from the person who is in the development department you can ask your doubt from the person who is into the company from longer days since he suppose that person is there from the longer days in the company he will be having the good domain knowledge so he will be able to make you understand how application works so how to overcome the drawbacks of exploratory testing is to understand the requirement first with whom with the person who is having the good product knowledge or the person who is in the company from longer days from the senior people from senior test engineers from senior developers also when you are testing any application you can also use your common sense to test it and you can also test your application with the competitive products which are already launched in the market so this is how you overcome the drawbacks of doing exploratory testing so you go for exploratory testing when there are no requirement or when there is requirement but there is no time to go through it that time i will do exploratory testing or when there is a requirement but it is not understandable that time we will go for doing exploratory testing i hope this video was useful to you guys if yes give a thumbs up to this video and subscribe to my channel thank you so much